Now, here's the thing about this fight because it's a little unorthodox from what we're used to seeing of like two heavyweight champions going at it and stuff like that, but we'll get to that down the line. Now, Francis Ngannou, this guy is a UFC fighter wholeheartedly. Like this is his whole career. He spent a majority of his career fighting in UFC. His record, 17 and three, 12 KOs. He got a couple KOs by submission as well. Like this is what he does here. And he only has one professional boxing matchup. And it happened against one of the best in the heavyweight class, Tyson Fury. And he held his own. It was it was nice. But he ended up losing his only boxing matchup. And this is his number two against a great fighter in Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, he's a boxer at heart. This is what he does. 27 and 3, 24 knockouts. The man has built his legacy on boxing. This is what he does. He's a damn good fighter. And originally, I came into this matchup thinking, all right, well, you know what? I got Anthony Joshua winning this because, of course, he's a natural boxer. This is what he does. You don't have to worry about him uh, falling into an old habit of being a UFC fighter, none of that. Like, he's been boxing longer, so I'm going to side with Anthony Joshua. Originally, that's what I thought. However, the second thought kicked in. I'm like, okay, Francis Ngannou, yeah, this may look like a disadvantage, but I think this is going to be something that actually helps him. I think him being a UFC fighter, only having one matchup against the greatest fighter of our time right now in the heavyweight class, Tyson Fury, I think this gives him an edge over Anthony Joshua because... When he went against Tyson Fury, he went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He knocked Tyson Fury down. He held his own. He didn't look bad in the ring with a great in Tyson Fury. So to me, I'm like, okay, that's pretty impressive to switch from UFC, begin boxing, and be able to actually hold your own against a great fighter who is who's going to try and toy with you, who's going to pick his spots, who's going to make sure he gets extra points, and all of that. He didn't get knocked out. He lost by split decision. And that's my concern with Anthony Joshua is that he can possibly lose by split decision, but stand on on stand on Ngannou. I think this is where he'll win because he's not a fighter who's gonna you know sit back, be reserved, wait for you to come at him and, and find these little easy spots and try and do all that. No, Francis Ngannou is gonna go get you. He's gonna he's gonna go straight for you. He's gonna come in swinging, try and knock you out. He's coming in like, look, is he the winner? Go home. It ain't no no pussyfooting, if you will. It ain't no uh, um, being scared to throw blows and go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This man has been hit in the face before plenty of times, been beat down plenty of times fighting in the UFC. So he's not scared to take a punch, and he's damn sure not scared to, to get up in your grill and really throw some blows at you. And I think this is going to help him when he goes against Anthony Joshua. Now, the only thing here that concerns me about Ngannou going against Joshua is that Although he can go get Anthony Joshua and bring the pain and, and throw these blows and, and keep Anthony Joshua on his back heels, you don't want to come in a little too wild. Because if you come in too wild, Joshua is a great fighter and he'll be able to counter those hits. He'll be able to pick up easy points that's going to get him a win in split decision. You got to keep in mind here, this guy is a technical fighter. So his first instinct isn't going to be to come in and try and knock you out, put you on the mat. No, that's not his first instinct. His first instinct is going to be to observe, kind of get a feel for what you're doing a little bit. He's going to be very technical and very basic in a good way of, of how he's going to structure his fighting plan. And, and that's what I say, that, or that's why I say Ngannou has to still be careful when he's fighting um, Anthony Joshua. He doesn't want to come in too crazy. You come in a little too crazy, Joshua going to end up picking up a lot of points. He may not knock you out, but he's going to pick up a lot of points that get him a win in a split decision. I don't think this fight is going to end in a knockout, but if it does, I'm going to side with Ngannou to win by knockout if it ends in a knockout. I trust him because he's going to throw a lot of punches and it's it's going to be on Joshua to dodge those punches and not get hit. So it'll be good, though. I, I think it'll be cool. Um, another cool thing about this fight here, too, is that the winner will be fighting Tyson Fury. It's already been reported that whoever wins this fight will be the fighter that goes on to fight Tyson Fury. Personally, I would love to see Anthony Joshua go on and fight Tyson Fury. Not that the Ngannou and Fury fight wasn't good. That would A repeat of that would be awesome, honestly, watching that again. But... I would love to see Joshua take that next step in fighting one of the greats in his class at this time. And that great being Tyson Fury, someone who's already embarrassed the best of the best on a large stage. Uh, Wilder, he beat Wilder, he beat uh, Ngannou, who's new, but also 
proved to be somewhat of a great fighter it had a lot of hype around it this guy is good so i would love to see anthony joshua someone who has just as much hype and kind of making a huge name for himself go against tyson fury i think that would be dope um to see that rematch but last thing about this fight man i, I thought it was cool and one of the best parts that i've seen so far prior to the fight happening tomorrow that's when it's going to be tomorrow i'll be streaming that shout out to everybody who use stream east shout out to stream east because they really be holding it down first off allegedly i, I you know man, i can't say i use it for sure but they, they hold it down for a lot of people i put it that, I put it that way um that's how you can watch the game at the free 99 discount i'll put it or the game the fight you can watch the fight at a free 99 discount with the uh stream east got is yeah i'm gonna put y'all on game but anyway look um the coolest thing about this fight bro was the promotion by far the promotion for this fight was awesome bro they uh released the video it was probably like one or two minutes and the fight instead of like a bunch of rah 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 stuff going on and pushing and shoving and trash talking your mama your family is garbage whatever all that stuff no they did a anime based like vintage video game of boxing and it was so cool because it looked like part of something out of an avengers movie but then it would go back to the video game vintage boxing type of um um animation it was so cool bro and i loved it it's, it's honestly like the first of its kind so that's why i think i enjoy it so much because i mean i've never seen nothing like that so whoever idea that was to come up with that promotion was amazing bro and you got to check it out I, I promise you that that's going to get you cool that's going to get you kind of hyped for the fight too because um they had each other throwing huge blows and then people was getting knocked out the city like it was dope it reminded me of like def jam also uh fight night a little bit also a little bit of um like maybe rocket soccer like it was it was just cool it was a cool video and I, it was the first of its kind so i think that's definitely one of the best promotions for boxing that i've seen 